Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be creating some kind of look, you guys. I don't even know what kind of look I want to do. Honestly, I just want to get another video up for you guys. I kind of want to do like a smoky eye with like glitter and a pop of pink in the inner corners. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. Um, that is, that's just what I'm seeing right now. And so let's get started. I'm going to grab my palette real quick. I apologize if I'm talking pretty low. My daughter is sleeping, so I'm not trying to be like really, really loud. So I'm going to take my Anastasia palette and I'm taking the shade Burnt Orange and I'm applying this as my transition color, y'all. Y'all already know I'm using this as my transition color. So I'm going to place this right above the crease, like slightly above the crease. Okay, so I'm doing a brown smoky eye. I'm using the shade Budge from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm picking it up with their A27 flat brush, which looks like this. And I'm putting it all over my lid. And just like that. And no, we ain't gonna be leaving it like this, okay? best believe i'm going to be blending this out now that we have done that i'm going to jump back in into that budge color on a blending brush and put this in the crease so at the same time you are blending out that harsh line and like smoking it out you know brush right here is really really nice this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brush in A12 I really really like this okay you can definitely leave your eyes just like this it looks so pretty like a soft smoky eye just throw on a wing liner and some lashes girl yes but I'm extra I'm going to be applying some brown glitter this is the glitter that I will be using and I got this from Hobby Lobby. Y'all, I ain't never had a problem with these glitters. So, you don't have to use the exact same, like every single thing I use. So, um, I'm going to use this. Yeah. So before I apply my glitter, I am going to apply the NYX Glitter Primer. And I'm putting this all over my lid. I'm just going to squeeze it out into my hand right there. And I'm going to take a flat brush, if I can find one. Y'all are probably like, if you can find one, girl, you got all them brushes. But I'm looking for a specific one. <laughs> I'm looking for a specific one. Okay, I got it. Okay, so this is the Anastasia number 18 brush. So let's go ahead and apply the glitter primer onto the lid. So I'm going to take the Sigma E54 brush to apply the glitter. Like it. <laughs> Let me um brush away some of this glitter. This 
would have been pretty if I would have maybe like stopped halfway with the glitter and like smoke out the outer corners with black but I'm already done with this so. though. <laughs> hmm. I'm maybe gonna try to add black now that I think about it. So I'm going to take Nor by Anastasia which is this matte black shade right here. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes. I already did my wing with the, um, let me show you guys what I used. This is what I used to do my wing eyeliner. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what I used to do my wing eyeliner. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. Okay, so moving on to skin. I got my Pond's moisturizer. I had to buy another one. So, um, yes, I am back with my Pond's moisturizer. So I'm going to apply this all over my face. When I tell you guys that this is the best face moisturizer, like, not even for the product, like the actual product, the size, of this product and the price for it you can't beat you can't beat it like a lot of moisturizers like especially good ones they they cost a little something okay <laughs> I get so many comments saying that um, some of you guys actually went out and purchased this moisturizer because of me and y'all actually are in love with it as much as I am so yay <laughs> I'm glad you guys love it. So let's move on to foundation. Um, the foundation I'm using today is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I love this foundation. I'm gonna put this all over my face and just dot it. I'm gonna take my Real Technique sponge that is already damped and blend this out. For concealer, my favorite part, um, I need to purchase a new concealer so comment down below your favorite concealer because I need to try out some new concealers. The Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I'm probably going to highlight with the Bare Minerals Concealer. I know I look crazy, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna hurry up and blend all this out. Okay, so this concealer is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. Okay, so honestly, I, uh, I don't really care for this concealer, but I love the consistency of this concealer though but I don't care for it like using it alone it creases really really bad underneath the eyes it really does that's why I just use it just to like brighten up a little bit so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and I'm using the same sponge I blended out my foundation with The 
this looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set everywhere I place that concealer with Airsman powder. And I already mixed um, banana powder in this. The Benai banana powder, I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys this right here. So I'm taking the same sponge and I'm just gonna keep pressing the powder in until it sets this concealer. Okay, you guys, so I don't think I'm gonna cream contour today. So I'm just gonna take my NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. This is a brush that I always use to contour my face. Um, I had it for a very long time. I think, no, not think. I got this from Marshalls in a set with another brush. It's this one right here. These two came together. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Um, I'm taking both of these shades right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup with the Wet n Wild Matte Finish Setting Spray. Just like that. <laughs> To highlight, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the um, Resi highlighter. So this is what it looks like. So I'm taking the Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. So I'm gonna highlight my chin. Keep this ball. The tip of my nose and this part of my nose like right in the middle. I'm gonna use my large fan brush that I always use and I got this from Marshalls. So my battery is dying so I'm gonna quickly jump back into the fudge color that I used in the crease and blend that out in the lower lash line. Okay guys, so I did mention that I want to put like a, a pink color in the inner corners. This is the Makeup Addiction Metal Palette and I'm going to take this pink color on a Anastasia A14 brush. I thought about pink in the inner corner with this look. So I'm going to take the Makeup Addiction Medium Shader Brush to highlight my brow bone with the same highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara to the lower lash line. To the lower lash line to the lower lashes. So I don't know what color lip I should do. Should I do like a dark brown or should I just do a nude? Okay, so my camera died. So I'm going to first line my lips with the NK Dark Brown Lip Liner. So I actually decided to just keep it simple. I'm just going to apply a gloss on top. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the shade Toffee. Okay, so this is the completed look. It turned out exactly as I pictured. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and comment down below what you think of this look and what else you would like to see and subscribe to my channel for more videos coming very soon. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.